This month's uh, Australian Shooter Magazine by the SSAA, here it is right here. Okay, there you go, November, November issue, right there. Okay, now what I want to point out to you boys um, is uh, on page 6, the letter from the National President, from Dean Meal. I don't really know how to say his name, I'll be honest, it's Miguel or Meal, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, here it is right here. Right there, there's Dean, right there, at the bottom there. Okay, so, um, what I'd like to make comment about is I'd like to give credit where credit's due. And this is actually a really encouraging letter. And it's one of the more encouraging ones I've seen for a long time. And well done, De uh, Dean, for that too. Um, so, I'd like to just mention that. Now, he says, our effort to collect email addresses is not for advertising, but to ensure we and the state you are a member of uh, have a quick a quick way to reaching you, of informing you and calling members' attention to issues uh, at times of need, right? Which is good. I mean, I encourage all you guys who are members of the SSAA to please make sure they've got your email address. Uh, this this is extreme, extremely important, guys. Um, and he goes on to say, um, <clears throat> as as many collective voices all sharing the same message, we can increase our strength across the country. Technology is able to connect SSAA members and ensure that we will, we will target shooting and hunting for many years to come. The need for effective email campaigning is like the NRA does in the United States and our opponents do to us. Now this is really good. He's actually mentioned the NRA. Thank God. It's one of the very rare times that you'll ever hear the president mention the NRA. And to be perfectly honest, he should be mentioning it all the time. But um. But anyway, it's good that he has done this uh, and has brought up the need to basically be able to uh, let people know what things that are going on pretty much straight away in the shooter and uh, and hunter community. Okay, so email campaigning is vital and if we are to increase our political effectiveness, good words, uh, and defend shooters' rights, good words, uh, we must become more active more quickly than in the past. Absolutely, I agree. Um and the New South Wales Game Council disillusion and Western Australian licensing fees increases are example where we need to go harder and quicker. Some states are already getting smart and we must give them support to help protect uh, your rights and give shooters a strong and united voice. Now what I like about this message really, he talks about your rights and being politically effective. Um, that is really, really important. And this is the sort of language that we need more of in this magazine. And uh, we haven't had this sort of language for a long, long time, especially in the articles, the way the articles are written. They're just atrocious. Anyway, he goes on to say, <clears throat> when, when we email you, we trust that you will help spread the word, share our story, and drive our campaigns. Together, we can be organized, reach wider, than, than before and demonstrate on a larger scale that SSAA members are responsible members of society who participate in legitimate pastime sport. Great. Uh, in terms of improving communications, we are looking at the concept of producing our very own television program called Australian Shooter. Fantastic. We are in early stages of the process and much is to be done, but it's time to get, it, get our side of the story across and tell the world about the great world of lawful shooting and hunting. Yes, I'll keep you posted, he says. Remember, many hands make light work, and in this case, many voices can make the whole of SSAA family louder and more effective in what we do. Okay, then that is a fantastic letter. I think it's very encouraging. And for those of you that haven't read it, if you get your November magazine out, you must already have it by now, uh, please read the letter. So it's page 6, President's letter right there. Okay, so just please read that because that's very encouraging. Now, for the bad part, the bad part is, is that this magazine still contains absolutely nothing but crap. Um, and it's just really disappointing uh, month after month to just see more reviews of shotguns and bolt action rifles. I mean, really. All our shooters, if we want to know what the latest gear is, we just get on the internet and we find out for ourselves. We don't need we don't need a magazine to tell us what the latest gear gear is, especially all this boring stuff. And have a look at this. Pig hunting against the odds. I mean, how many times have you seen a story like that? Wow, pig hunting against the odds. What happened? Did it rain? 
Like, really. Like, unbelievable. Um, so, we're sick and tired of hearing this stuff, and I'm sure I speak for many of you shooters out there. We, we, want, we want some stories in this magazine that are actually telling us what the SSAA are doing for our rights, for our gun rights, for our freedoms. Okay, that's what we want. Um, we don't want any more boring pig hunting stories. I mean, we've read them a thousand times before. So anyway, guys, um, great letter from the president, but still the magazine, highly disappointing. Now, um, also I'd like to make a mention, the magazine has a new editor. Okay, her name is Kay Jenkins, and here you are, right there. That's the article there. There's Kay. Okay. Now, the SSAA is pleased to announce the promotion of Kay Jenkins to the role of editor of the Australian Shooter magazine. Kay has worked for the SSAA for the past eight years, which is, I'll be honest, it's a little bit worrying because um, someone who's been in there for such a long time is pretty much, uh, I guess, indoctrinated into this... Uh, into this sort of frame of mind that the magazine's been promoting. But anyway, uh, initially, as the assistant editor, then graduating to the associate editor, uh, and has played a key role in Australian st uh, Australia's stable of magazines and publications, including uh, the Australian Hunter, Australian and New Zealand Handgun, uh, ASJ, the Junior Shooter, and SSAA Comprehensive Guide to Shooting and Hunting in Australia. Now, Chief Executive Officer Tim Bannister said Kay has been an asset to the SSAA for many years and has helped guide the association's many publications into becoming the successful magazines, websites and e-publications that they are today. Unbelievable. See, these people actually think that they're really successful. Now, I want to know what on earth have they succeeded at? What? What has been their success? Um, if... Uh, now, I'll tell you right now, if I was Bob Brown or Adam Bant, then I would say, yeah, this magazine is extremely successful because uh, it's done absolutely nothing for uh, the rights of gun owners. But um, anyway, that's, that's all I can say about that. Kay's new extended duties will include examining new media and pub publishing opportunities, as well as taking on a great management role in the, in the media and publications department. Well, listen... Um, what I think about that, boys, is that, uh, well, Kay, uh, look, if you're watching this video, that's great. I've got a word of advice for you. Uh, if you want to stay relevant uh, amongst the shooter community, please start fighting for our rights. Start printing some proper stuff, okay? Not these stupid printouts of targets and telling us why, you know, the Winchester bullet is better than the Remington bullet or some bullshit like that. Like, really, people are sick of, sick of reading that stuff. They're, they're not interested, okay? They're just not interested. And uh, and those who are interested, well, you can find all that stuff out on the internet anyway. So, let's start printing some proper stuff. Let's start naming and shaming the politicians who destroy our rights. Let's start telling people that they deserve their freedom. They have a right to their freedom, okay? Let's start telling them things like that. Because all this stuff that's printed in this magazine does nothing nothing more than to placate uh, the shooter population out there, to keep us dumbed down, to keep us uh, you know uh, keep us away from what's rightfully ours, which is, which are the things that the ANZAC fought for, the ANZACs died for, our freedom. Make sure you read the president's message, and I certainly hope the magazine uh, for all our shooters out there sure follows that same example as president's message. So anyway, guys, I'll just share the signing out. Always fighting for your freedoms. I'll see you later.